What's up guys? Welcome to the Break Room Blitz Toy Box Unboxing. This is Adan and today I got another Star Wars figure. I went Star Wars crazy and bought a bunch of figures and I'm going to open them up with you. I've been meaning to. I can't believe I'm so patient not opening these. One of the coolest figures that I got I think was this Star Wars Mace Windu by SH Figure Arts. And uh, let's get right into it. You know, the reason that I got this uh, Mace Windu figure was because, you know, they don't make a 6-inch one from the Black Series that I really wanted. And, uh, I mean, I was thinking about actually getting the uh, uh, one from um, uh, Star Wars Unleashed series. But, you know, it just wasn't going to be balanced. I, I think I, I just wanted to keep them all the same. So here we got this wrapping that it came in. And uh, I actually bought this one off of Amazon and uh, spent 44 bucks on this one which is you know I, I typically say I don't like to spend you know 20 25 on you know some of these figures but you know I saw the pictures of this and I just had to buy in I mean look at that head sculpt it looks so sweet it's freaking Mace Windu the strongest Jedi yes I said the strongest Jedi <laughs> and uh, off the back this is what we got got some pictures here side you know this uh packaging now i will say when i got this packaging i was just like a little taken back because of the size of this packaging is so small i mean here i want to give you a size comparison this is a black series plan on doing an unboxing for this guy too Django fett so keep an eye out for that video but uh look at the size comparison of these boxes why is this one so slim uh, i paid 44 on this one paid 19 for this one Amazon as well I gotta get that Amazon Prime you know and uh, just side comparison look at that it's towering over this guy it's even slimmer from the you know height size everything the back the bottom this packaging is just so much more I don't know slimline alright get out of here Django we'll cut your head off later all right, so let's uh, get right into this thing. So I think we have to open it from the side. Uh, I'm gonna try opening it from this side over here because I don't want to mess up the side with his face on it. All right, so we got a piece, piece of tape there. And easy does it, don't tear the box. Man, there's like gold, like this uh, silver foil, I should say, all over this box. Just covered in silver foil. This is uh, actually my first SH Figure Arts figure. Okay, so in the box, this is what we got. Here, stand up, Mace. Just uh, chill right there for a second. And okay, so we got a little pamphlet. This is all in Japanese, I believe. I want to say. I don't know. I don't read Japanese. So there you have it. Um, gives, it comes with a couple different hands, uh, how they're posed, how you hold them and then the head how you attach and remove the head um, this looks like a hand there I'm not sure what it's actually mentioning uh, maybe you have to put it in through an angle the opening looks like kinda slanted so uh, and then how you actually attach the lightsaber so uh, don't run it through like some of these other figures you kinda have to remove the actual saber portion and connect the hilt probably also connect the hilt to what looks like his belt there and uh, yeah nothing on the back alright cool got it thanks for the instruction so looks like we got some double packaging going on here so let's uh, open that up okay alright everything's everywhere alright so uh, nothing really holding all these pieces down except for that. So we got this initial head sculpt. Man, that is awesome! My camera's even picking picking it up to like take a picture of this guy already. This is dope. This is by far the best head sculpt in a figure that I've ever seen. He's so angry. Why so serious? All right, chill right there. I've got these hands that are falling out. I'm just gonna get all these pieces that are falling out real quick everything fell out of the packaging there you have it so real quick these hands like in the instructions how I was saying uh, yeah so I mean if you just try to 
connect that. I'm sure it's just not going to work. Uh, this one looks like it's the one to hold his lightsaber. So we'll be using that soon. I've got these other hands that are open palm because he's using the force. Like, no! Alright. And uh, this looks like a normal attachment there at the bottom. Alright, same thing for the other hands. Alright, all the same thing. Purple lightsaber, this is dope. Now, this lightsaber here, it's a little bit more thick uh, towards the hilt and then becomes thinner. But, I mean, that purple, that purple though, that's dope. Love it. I wish it was a little bit more purple, like uh, maybe darker, but I guess it wouldn't be as see-through, so who knows. I'm sure there's people created out there that you know, put an LED or just have a LED light pointed at it, make it like really pop. Love to see something like that. Anyway, set that off to the side. And let's get to the meat and potatoes, Mace Windu. All right, so we got this plastic backing that was kind of like on him, I guess protective. I appreciate this packaging. So easy to take out, it just walked right out. Like, what up though? All right, so stand him up. Man, you know what? Even though the packaging seems small, this guy is freaking awesome. I mean, yeah, I mean, his clothes, the texture, uh, got some of this fabric that's like very loose. It's like some movable rubber all the way up here at the top. And his head sculpt. That's the Master Jedi himself. I'm so stoked about this. And he came with an extra lightsaber right there just in case his other one gets away from him this is so awesome so his hands that he comes with they're just uh, close fisted hands as you can see there no way that I can get a lightsaber through that right just ready to knock someone out alright TKO let's uh, get this hand out of there separates and then put it back together so at least I got that part going for me okay his hand is in I felt that go right in okay cool all right what are you doing there mace <laughs> all right so now to the lightsaber let's see if we could just get him standing on his own two feet cool all right lightsaber time so this lightsaber separates oh that was easy okay cool and one end on the back side and one end on the front side. So just join those two pieces. Oh, there we go, actually. Okay, cool. It's way easier than I thought as well. Excellent. And there we go. That, that feels secure right there. Cool. All right, that ball joint though. Cool, cool, cool. I love this thing already. So, as far as uh, figures go, that is definitely a premium figure. I'm so happy. You know, this thing is totally worth 44 bucks, and uh, I do not regret that decision at all. All right, guys, so real quick, I just want to show you, uh, even though we have this really awesome Mace Windu figure, just as a size comparison, we got this really awesome Django figure, and size comparison... Both of these are six inch figures from, we've got the Hasbro Black Series line over here, Django Fett meets the SH Figure Arts Star Wars line. Again, this Mace Windu one, 44 bucks, not a bad deal. If you could get it cheaper, have at it. I highly recommend it, just do it. And then this Django figure was the Hasbro Black Series. And here, let me get these guys standing up straight back to back. There you have it. Look at that. They are just the same size. They are perfect for each other, perfect as their rivals. And I want you guys to take a look at, uh, I got the unboxing video for this Django Fett figure. But size comparison aside, I mean, both these figures are absolutely awesome. Just do it. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. This is going to be Adhan from Break Room Blitz Toy Box Unboxing. Have fun.